Werner Theodor Otto Forman, Forsman in English, the 29th of August 1904 to the 1st of June 1979, was a physician from Germany who shared the 1956 Nobel Prize in Medicine with Andre Frederick Kernand and Dickinson W. Richards for developing a procedure that allowed cardiac catheterization. In 1929, he put himself under local anesthesia and inserted a catheter into a vein of his arm. Not knowing if the catheter might pierce a vein, he put his life at risk. Forsman was nevertheless successful, he safely passed the catheter into his heart. Life Forsman was born in Berlin on 29 August 1904. Upon graduating from Askanisches Gymnasium, he entered the University of Berlin to study medicine, passing the state examination in 1929. He hypothesized that a catheter could be inserted directly into the heart, for such applications as directly delivering drugs, injecting radiopaque dyes, or measuring blood pressure. The fear at the time was that such an intrusion into the heart would be fatal. To prove his point, he decided to try the experiment on himself. In 1929, while working in Eberswald, he performed the first human cardiac catheterization. He ignored his department chief and persuaded the operating room nurse in charge of the sterile supplies, Gerda Ditzen, to assist him. She agreed, but only on the promise that he would do it on her rather than on himself. However, Forsman tricked her by restraining her to the operating table and pretending to locally anesthetize and cut her arm whilst actually doing it on himself. He anesthetized his own lower arm in the cubital region and inserted a urinary catheter into his anticubital vein, threading it partly along before releasing Ditzen who at this point realized the catheter was not in her arm and telling her to call the X-ray department. They walked some distance to the X-ray department on the floor below where under the guidance of a fluoroscope he advanced the catheter the full 60 cm into his right ventricular cavity. This was then recorded on X-ray film showing the catheter lying in his right atrium. The head clinician at Eberswald, although initially very annoyed, recognized Werner's discovery when shown the X-rays. He allowed Forsman to carry out another catheterization on a terminally ill woman whose condition improved after being given drugs in this way. An unpaid position was created for Forsman at the Berliner Charité Hospital, working under Ferdinand Sauerbrich, although once Sauerbrich saw his paper, he was dismissed for continuing without his approval. Sauerbrich commented, You certainly can't begin surgery in that manner. Facing such disciplinary action for self experimentation, he was initially forced to leave the charité, but was later reinstated until again being forced to leave in 1932 for not meeting scientific expectations. His surgical skills were noted, however, and he was recommended to another hospital where he worked for a while before leaving in 1933 after marrying Dr. Elsbeth Engel, a specialist in urology there. Finding it difficult to get a job with his reputation, he quit cardiology and took up urology. He then went on to study urology under Karl Heusch at the Rudolf Virchow Hospital in Berlin. Later, he was appointed chief of the surgical clinic at both the city hospital at Dresden Friedrichstadt and the Robert Koch Hospital in Berlin. From 1932 to 1945, he was a member of the Nazi Party. At the start of World War II, he became a medical officer. In the course of his service, he rose to the rank of major, until he was captured and put into a U.S. POW camp. Upon his release in 1945, he worked as a lumberjack and then as a country medic in the Black Forest with his wife. In 1950, he began practice as a urologist in Bad Kreuznach. During the time of his imprisonment, his paper was read by André Frederick Kernand and Dickinson W. Richards. They developed ways of applying his technique to heart disease diagnosis and research. In 1954, he was given the Leibniz Medal of the German Academy of Sciences. In 1956, the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine was awarded to Kernand, Richards, and Foreman. After winning the Nobel Prize, he was given the position of Honorary Professor of Surgery and Urology at the University of Mainz. In 1961, he became an Honorary Professor at the National University of Córdoba. In 1962, he became a member of the executive board of the German Society of Surgery. 
He also became a member of the American College of Chest Physicians, honorary member of the Swedish Society of Cardiology, the German Society of Urology, and the German Child Welfare Association. He and Elsbeth had six children Klaus Forman in 1934, Knut Forman in 1936, Georg Forman in 1938, Wolf Forman in 1939, who was first to isolate the atrial natriuretic peptide, Bernd Forman in 1940, who helped develop the first clinical lithotriptor, and Renata Forman in 1943, he died in Schopfheim, Germany of heart failure on 1 June 1979. His wife died in 1993. See also André Frederick Kernand Andreas Grunzig Dickinson W. Richards Notes Topic References Topic External Links Biographical Sketch of Werner Foreman with Video Clip The Man Who Touched His Own Heart NPR Interview with Robert Dunn, his biographer www.erzdesiding. De Durhers Katheter Selbversich, Dichting und Wahrheit in German.